Joe Goodge. I move that the question be now put. The question is that the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. The contrary will say no. The ayes have it. The question is that clause three stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary will say no. The ayes have it. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk to conduct the party vote. New Zealand National, 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour, 43 votes opposed. Green Party, none opposed. Act New Zealand, five votes in favour. Maori Party, five opposed. Progressive, one vote opposed. United Future, one vote opposed. Members, the ayes are 63, the noes are 59. Clause 3 will stand part. Members, the question now is that part 1, debate on clauses 4 to 9A and schedule stand part. Mr Chair. The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Chair, this part of the bill deals with the main uh, changes to the legislation. It involves not only the Act Party's three strikes, uh, policy that it went into the last campaign, election campaign on, but also the National Party's no uh, parole for repeat, uh, worst repeat violent offenders. Um, it's been a pleasure working with Mr Garrett on this bill and with the ACT Party. They have been very decent to, to work with and um, I would like to thank the party for that. This bill and the changes that have been made through the committee stages, it's been a long process over the last year and I'd like to thank uh, the committee chair, Sandra Gowdy, and all the committee members for the attention they gave to it. Um, in particular, there are some issues that have been raised about rehabilitation, and perhaps we should just have more of it. Well, we do, actually. We're doubling the amount of rehabilitation in our prisons uh, by the end of next year, doubling from what there was when we took over in government. I don't agree at all that repeat violent offenders who create victims are themselves necessarily victims other than that uh, at some stage someone in their life must actually take responsibility for their actions. Is someone going to be old enough in their 30 to take responsibility? Are they going to be old enough at 40? I think many of us feel that it's very important to have a system in place in our criminal justice system where people are given warnings about what will happen. And I'm very pleased with the uh, assistance that's been given uh, by the judges, by the judiciary, and uh, with Mr Garrett in relation to an SOP that we're putting forward today too, uh, about how we can make sure that the warning system works uh, the best for not only for offenders but for victims and for the criminal justice system. Uh, this bill is not about locking up people for sealing a loaf of bread. This is very much focused on our worst repeat violent offenders. Um, when we talk about what we can do for them, let's talk about what we can do for victims as well. And one of the things we can do are to keep the very worst people locked in secure environments for, uh, so that they do not, in fact, create more uh, victims. I know that it's sometimes very painful for people to have to deal with the raw uh, emotions of victims. I know that judges often find it very difficult to deal with victims' impact statements. I know that many of us who have not been the victims of horrendous violent offences find it very difficult to deal with people who are so raw in their emotions. Frankly, we're so lucky if we are not in that situation. My heart goes out to those people. I know it is uncomfortable, but you know what? We've just got to accept it. It is their emotion, it is their life, or the life of their family member that's been taken apart, and they deserve to be treated with dignity. And this bill will, in fact, give bad some dignity to them and to their families. The Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Mr Chairman, in this part, the uh, Labor Party has put forward a number of amendments uh, and briefly to deal with those. 